Hello, today we are going to make this lovely Swedish Mora Club. I always wanted to have a real one at home, but it's too expensive and I couldn't afford it. So instead, I will just make a small version that I can afford. Check out the description box for the materials and pattern link. This is the template that I made for the cloth and you can use a cardstock or a craft wood and just make several layers to make the whole cloth. So these are the pre-cut template and I am going to use this to trace on a craft wood. For this project, I opt to use a 5mm thick craft wood. You can also use any thickness if um, you have. Trace each template on the craft wood. Since my craft wood is not that thick, I will trace 2 to 3 pieces of each template. And here are the trace template that I made. Next, cut and shape the craft wood. I am using a balsa wood here so it is pretty easy to cut and shape it using an exacto knife. Make sure to trim as close as you can to the pencil markings. So here are the pieces that I will be using. Three pieces for each top and bottom part, and two pieces for the middle part. Next, sand and smoothen the sides of each piece. This time, you can sand it until the pencil mark. I am using an electric file to smoothen the edges of the craft wood. You can also do this manually using a round file. Also, make sure to use a mask so that you don't have to inhale the sawdust. Next, glue the layers together. Depending on how thick the craft wood you are using, you can add as many layers as you can. I am going to add 3 layers for the lower part. Then, after gluing, you can again sand it until you are satisfied with the shape and the loop. To make the pendulum hole, I used an exacto knife and carve out as much as I can before using the electric file to smoothen the edges. For the middle part, I am only using two layers, and I only put a hole on the first layer. Glue these two pieces together. By the way, I skipped the video of the first piece, but the steps should be the same. After sanding the glued pieces, I am going to cover the wood gaps with a relief paste. This is a non-toxic crafting relief paste, so I could just use my finger on this. But please do check your product if it is toxic or non-toxic before doing so. Otherwise, you could use a spatula or gloves to apply it. So just go all over the area that has gaps on it and you can apply several layers to create a clean and nice piece. Let the piece dry completely before painting them. I decided to use a cream acrylic paint as the base color of my clock, and I painted everything except for the pendulum hole. After applying the base color, I dry brushed a bluish grayish acrylic paint to create this effect.
For the pendulum hole, I simply painted it with a black acrylic paint. And to finalize the appearance of the clock, I applied gray acrylic paint on the edges and on the sides of the clock using a cocktail stick. And now I am ready to assemble the pieces together. And as you can see, I am also going to use some decorative relief. I added the clock hand using a jewelry wire. And to assemble the clock, make sure to leave a few millimeter space for the middle piece. It would look something like this. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for another Timeless Treasure Room Box project. Bye bye and see you next time.